So if you are watching and are following the camera for uh, Ali Jadidi as he is getting set up here, you will notice that he does not have any pads on because this is pro kickboxing. It's not that the gloves are coming off, but the headgear and the shin pads are coming off. Just absolute <laughs> insanity. <laughs> Safe to say, one of these kicks, with or without padding on, is going to cripple me. So this is just absolute insanity. Yeah, it's a, it's a true warrior mentality to go in with almost no protection and just try to beat the snot out of the guy that's in front of you. So here comes Lee Walton. He got a big pump from the crowd. He's representing Ireland, and you and you know he got a big pump from the crowd because Ireland, I feel like, has a special place in the martial arts community. I was actually there in August. I bounced around a few different cities. I was there for a wedding. Fantastic country. Everybody there is super friendly. But you can also tell at the same time, even though they were friendly, a lot of them also knew how to throw down, throw down as well. It just as soon as you step <laughs> into the ring, just a completely different personality comes out. And that, just that intensity to talk about that, that dog in them. It's like as soon as you step into the ring, that clearly comes out. Yeah, they're not all sitting at the pub drinking Guinness every night. A lot of these guys <laughs> are putting in the work in the gym. And then on occasion, having, having a Guinness. On, on occasion. And you can see he's from that WKX gym led by Josh Johnson and Jay Johnson. Legends in their own right. As good of coaches in this kickboxing setting as you can get. So you can expect a very well prepared Lee Walton as we get this fight going. Your next entry into the tournament representing Germany and Canada, Bill Ingram! And your final and fourth entrance, representing Sudan, Kutlap Kutlap! Couple more intros as well for our two other competitors. Phil Engeroff, fights out of Canada, originally from Germany. Also a Mamba alumni in his own right. He's the only one that didn't have a walkout for this one. I guess he thought it was a waste of time. He just wants to get right down to business. <laughs> and our last competitor, fighting out of Syria, or pardon me, Sudan, is Kuch Long, who actually has a 7-4 MMA record. He's fought a couple of pretty notable opponents, some UFC alumni, including Trey Ogden, who's still in the UFC, as well as Anthony Rocco Martin, who had a pretty extensive career in the UFC himself. So out of the four guys in here, I'd probably give the experience edge to Cooch Long. I do wonder if that experience is going to be something that takes over in the long run as well. You talk so much about stamina, cardio, with, with that extra bit of experience, maybe that ends up being the, the X factor. And look at that Ladies giant check. Gentlemen, here are your rules for the four-man tournament. Your first bout will have two rounds with three minutes each. If both fighters win each round, a third overtime sudden death match will happen. The winner of each round will then face off tonight in a final bout for a grand prize of $5,000!
our four fighters getting in here for a quick photo before they trade hands. Nothing but respect amongst professionals. But until that bell, oh, once that bell sounds, all bets are off. For the first round of the four-man tournament, fighting out of the blue corner, Ali Reza Jadidi! And fighting out of the red corner, fighting representing Arlen Lee Walton! Once again, another big pop for Lee Waltz, and I wonder how many tickets this guy <laughs> bought for his friends and family. <laughs> and potentially a shorter fight here, just two rounds, and then a third necessary, or a third if necessary, but potentially a shorter one here. Well, they're going to square off now. Lee Walton with uh, some footwork. Good footwork. Oh, and a big swinging right from Yad Jadidi. Oh, nice right hook. Jadidi getting off a, a lot of hooks. Hook to the body, hook to the head. Trying to establish that quickly. Pushing Walton back to the corner a little bit. Walton comes up now again. Good jab. Because he's countered well by Jadidi. Really trying to land the ref left and right hooks. Throwing all kinds of pressure at Lee Walton. But we Lee Walton's having fun. Doesn't seem to be phasing him yet. Smile on his face the whole time, shaking it off. But sometimes when you see that smile, like they're having fun, but could be a telling sign that it hurt. Oh, and Janidi can smell blood right now. Ooh, he's just going for it. off. Those hooks are coming in fast and furious, and he's mixing it up to the body and to the head. Lee Walton having a tough time keeping track of that. Oh, that hooks put Walton back. But he makes a quick pivot out of the corner, and they re regroup in the center. Oh, good head kick. Throwing more hooks is Jadidi. Walton's starting to wear it. It went a rare axe kick, followed up by hook more hooks to the head. Walton hanging in there, but Jadidi controlling the pace of the fight thus far. No, it definitely in the driver's seat and, and sharing a smile there for a moment with Walton. Walton's footwork is keeping him alive in this, but he is getting moved into the corner and eating a lot of hooks. And a couple uppercuts between the guard too. Good right cross. He's immediately countered with another flurry. Walton grabs the kick, they trade in the clinch. Good right hand. Ooh, that hook landed pretty flush for Jadidi as he gets Walton retreating once more. Oh! Another great hook by Jadidi. That left hook has been there all night for him. 10 seconds now, a little bit of pop from Walton, but once again, good exchange at the end. And a fiery first round from both of these gentlemen. Despite some troubling spots for Walton, he's, uh, he's right in this fight. That was, that was textbook from Jadidi, just foot on the driver, or excuse me, foot on the, on the, on the pedal throughout the entirety of that first round, man, just, didn't really look like there was any moment in that where where he wasn't in control. You could see Walton, you said it as well, retreating so many times. That was kind of the, the big point for him really throughout that entire round was, was finding a way to escape those dangerous moments. He did land a couple of shots himself and was able to land a couple body shots as well. But, man, that was just a textbook performance in the first round from Jadidi. The pacing of Jadidi was so impressive. And yeah. not just because of the volume that he was landing at, but he was trying to take Walton's head off with pretty much every single one of those hooks. And that is very draining. So the fact that he was able to keep that up the entire round, 
pretty marvelous. Let's see what he does for a second act. And Walton needs to go right at him immediately here and needs to try to take control back in this fight if he if he has a chance here to force him. Yeah, third show round. that fight in Irish toughness and just bite on the mouthpiece and walk forward. A little bit of a break in the action. Oh, we're back to things. I think Jadidi just slipped there for a second. Walton throwing a little bit better, but once again, he's getting backed in the corner. Couple of well-timed hooks there. Oh, oh and man. Jadidi is landing hard. Walton trying to engage that clinch a little bit more, because at range, Jadidi seems to be the one in the driver's seat. We saw that axe kick attempt again. There's Ooh, the spinning, spinning back, back as well. <laughs> you were looking for those. <laughs> More flurries coming from Jadidi. Walton a little bit slower to get out of those corners, but he's still standing here throwing shots back. Right hook, right shot lands flush. Ooh, good hook to the body. Very technical work from both of these gentlemen. Looks like it might have been a low blow there. Sensitive area. Considering how many of these kickboxers have been throwing kicks in that region, I'm surprised there haven't been more. But yeah. uh, keeping their weapons in check for the most part, you like to see it. Oh, Ooh. punishing left hook by Jadidi. Following it up more. <laughs> Lee Walton is tough. Certainly hanging in there. Jadidi clearly trying to goad him into a, into a jab and a counter. He looks so comfortable in there. Just the variety of the attacks he's throwing. His head movement is really on point. Look at the way he just parried that shot. And the follow-up crescent kick. It's that right hook that is just landing at will for him. Oh, <laughs> spinning kicks too. The arsenal that this guy has is extensive. This is unbelievable. Good body strikes by Walton. He's able to get out of the way of the counter in time. Oh, another spinning back fist by Jadidi. Narrowly misses. And he's eyeing down his opponent. Clearly has a lot of confidence in his head movement. And he's been getting out of the way of a lot of these Walton shots. Uh, really just kind of grazing him as Walton is taking more of the full brunt from his opponent. Couple more hooks, he's throwing spinning kicks, question mark kicks. Man, oh man, that was a tidy piece of work. What a performance Allegiant in that one. Holy. I think we hit our quota for spinning back fists. <laughs> <laughs> well, he potentially still fights one more time tonight, so uh, I'm hoping for uh, just a few more before we wrap things up. And you know what? Like we talk about about fatigue or or cardio in that regard, and you know, Jadidi looks like he still has. He doesn't look tired at all. He looks like he has a ton left in the tank and and a big gap between this fight and the championship one later on, so. I, I mean, there's 20 seconds left in the round and he's still throwing all this crazy spinning stuff. You don't throw that if you're tired. And just clearly looks like he's having fun as well out there the entire time. And it looks like we do have a decision after two rounds. I think we expect, we can expect uh, where this one is going, but uh, we will hear it from Tal as he announces the official decision. And your winner, by unanimous decision, fighting out of the blue corner, Ali Raza Gattini! And if you're Ali Jadidi, you just won in more ways than one, because not only 
did you pick up the unanimous decision win and move on to the finals for that juicy $5,000 check. You also get to take an extra round off, which can be pretty significant when you have another fight coming up for just sure. in a little while. And again, it's now there's a gap. So now you can make your adjustment adjustments that you may need to make. Just try to settle yourself down going into this final matchup in a little bit here. But I don't know. If you're asking me, not a whole lot of adjustments needed to be made there. I mean, you could tell by the end of it he's kind of getting a little bit casual with his hands dropping down so low. But, I mean, that's clearly in his the repertoire something that he's comfortable with when he's in that kind of position. That was impressive. Yeah, Good just a like kickboxing clinic, and uh, I'm sure I'm sure guys like uh, Cooch Long and uh, Phil Engeroff not going to be scared off by that one. But you, you have to imagine that they're keeping it in the back of their minds after they have their match here.